Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. I'm actually doing some behind the scenes chores, making sure everything is ready to go. Um, I bought some wooden oak dolls and I'm gonna cut them up right here into five and a half inches, or actually six inches. And then I have a sander over there that we will uh, put, kind of file down the ends of it and not quite make it a point, but makes it easier to start into the hole. I had to fill this up though because it about had run out. I don't know when the last time was I filled it, but um, it was out. I'm gonna take and put a small six inch block right here. That way I can line several up side by side and put them right here against this and know that I have them all the same measurement. There we go. Let's see, I got ten of them so we'll start out with five. Five at a time. All right, let's see if we can crank this puppy. So, I've got a bucket full of these now to last me, well, I probably will do the workshop anyway. This is my 5 8 bit that I bought right here, the one that we actually um, milled up up there at my neighbor's house. And that's the one I've been using because it makes a nice tight fit on the um, pins when I drive them in. Anyway, we're going to get this thing fired up here. This is a sander that I actually bought at Harbor Freight. Um, I, I, I got it, I don't know, several, several years ago. They had it on sale. I went ahead and picked it up. I um, haven't really had much use for it, but I thought, you know what, it might come in handy for these pins here just to round those corners off, you know, to where um, they go in the hole a whole lot easier. So let's fire this up and see what it'll do. I'd say that does a pretty good job. So, now I've got to do the rest of those and then we will be ready to set and drive some pins. But I'm excited about this um, workshop portion being done, not only because will I have a storage up there that I can move some of my stuff, um, but I'll be able to set my tools up inside where they will actually hopefully be permanent. And then when I get the additional room built on the back here, get the sawmill put in the front, this will actually be uh, basically a little factory. So that's exciting. Anyway, I just got back from the hardware getting these right here um, because I need to have them. I didn't, I thought I had some left, but I couldn't find them. But I need to have these before I actually start and go any farther um, with what I'm doing. Well, it seems like there's always a chore to do of some sort, maintenance wise. Remember, um, wasn't that long ago when I was cutting the tree down up here to build a carport, and then this happened. I basically just jerked the hook right off the end of that, pulling on it when I had the cable trying to put some tension on the tree. So, 
have no idea where it's at. It must have just slung off in the woods. So I stopped, picked up another one. We're going to go ahead and repair this right now because we're going to need it when we start um, doing some cleanup and logging for the rest of the addition of this workshop. Anyway, take this little pin out, just slide that in there like that, put our pin back in it. Put our cotter key back in. Do you think you can get any closer here, buddy? Huh? Are you into everything? We need to bend it back really good because it gets pulled off with branches and different things like that. Well, the regen light finally came on on the new tractor after 104 hours. For those of you that don't know, um, the old diesel engines that burn the black smoke, it gets caught inside uh, the muffler system here and every so often you increase the RPMs to get that area hot and it reburns that therefore you don't have that particulate going up in the air. Anyway, so what I did was is I increased the RPMs, I pressed the um, regen button is what they call it and let it run for about 15 minutes, came back out and still nothing, it's just an icon that popped up on the dash. I didn't have any lights blinking or anything which according to the book um, when it starts the process that I should have a light blinking on the button that I pushed as well as the icon that's on the dash. So that didn't happen. So I went ahead and called TYM today and they said when it comes time to do the regen just increase the RPMs, make sure everything's in neutral, set the parking brake of course and um, then increase the RPMs on this it'd be maximum 3000 but around 2500 which is your operating or 2300 um, anyway, so, uh, and then depress that switch for three seconds, and then it will start the process. He said sometimes it takes between 20 and 40 minutes. So, anyway, if it only comes on every 100 hours, that's okay, because I think the Kubota was every, uh, that we had was every 25 hours it would come on. So I don't know when that light is going to come back on, but I'm going to go ahead and crank it up and get along with my business today, and if it comes on, I'll be sure and let you know what happens. Well, I brought you over here to tell you that uh, I didn't get very far and I had to power that thing up. So it's been right now almost 40 minutes and the light is still on. I called them and told them uh, just now that it was still on and they said, Sometimes it takes up to 45 minutes, so let it run a little while longer, and if it doesn't uh, go off, uh, to call them, and they would uh, try to help me through. Well, I'm proud to announce that letting the tractor run that long, evidently I may have went ahead and inadvertently fixed it without knowing it, because it hasn't come back on. So I am proud to announce that that regen cycle uh, evidently is complete. As you can tell behind me here, I went down in the field and I got some wild cane. I'm getting ready to stake the beans up there. So I'm going to use a few pieces of the bamboo that I got last year and then use these as um, horizontal runs so I can build some steps. Kind of like a tier system, you know, where the beans grow up. If you like this type of living, uh, gardening, homesteading, that sort of thing, we did a video last year. Click up here in the top right hand corner of life on the homestead. I think it's a good representation. Folks, thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you at the cabin again next time.